may not realize it, but robots and artificial intelligence, or AI, are becoming increasingly ingrained in our everyday culture. From computers, voice-activated search on smartphones, robot vacuums, and automated machines in factories to educational robots for children, we are already surrounded by robots and AI. Are we nearing a major breakthrough in robotics that may transform the way we live? How far have robotics and AI technologies come? A square-shaped device is moving along the window, cleaning the corners and hard-to-reach areas. The robot window cleaner is a safe and affordable alternative to window washers working on a scaffold outside a skyscraper, a task that normally involves safety issues and high labor cost. When you place the robot on the window and switch it on, an embedded sensor first detects the size of the window. Then, the robot cleaner starts navigating around to clean the glass and returns to its starting point. Robot vacuums, which are already a familiar sight at homes across the country, are one of the most commonly available commercial robots today. More and more robots are entering homes, offices, and factories. As robotics is quickly emerging as a significant growth area, governments and companies around the world are keeping a close eye on developments in the area. Last month, an international expo on robot technology was held at Kintex, Korea. During the exhibition, 219 exhibitors from 12 countries showcase their latest robot applications in industries, healthcare, and education. The much talked about event reflected heightened interest in robotics, offering a glimpse into the future of the technology. The global robot industry is expected to grow dramatically from 27 billion US dollars in 2015 to 67 billion dollars in 2025. It is now, in fact, in 2015, over 250,000 robots were sold globally. That's a dramatic, uh, continuous trajectory of increase. In fact, the last four years, it increased 76% over the previous four years. And we expect that trend to continue roughly about 70% uh, growth over the next four years to 2019. Based on applications, the market is divided into two major categories, industrial robots used in manufacturing and service robots that assist humans in rescue operations, healthcare, education, and cleaning. Currently, industrial robots represent nearly 64% of the global robot market. While Japan and Germany were traditionally strong players in industrial robotics, China has quickly become a new dominant force in the market. The sharp rise in labor cost, coupled with a shortage of young workers in manufacturing, has made Chinese manufacturers turn to automated production, fueling the demand for industrial robots. By 2019, China will account for roughly 40% of global market demand. Unlike traditional robots that perform repetitive tasks, a new breed of high-performance robots known as collaborative robots is designed to work alongside people in close settings. Sawyer is a smart collaborative robot developed by Rethink Robotics, a leading provider of industrial robots. Existing industrial robots require the support of engineers and professional programmers, but Sawyer can learn tasks by detecting and mirroring the movements of a person. Less than 10% of the tasks in manufacturing are currently performed with automation technology but collaborative robots are expected to automate up to 25% of the processes. I hope it will impress you. Open Gangnam Style! Oh, 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 oh. 
service robotics, which was introduced later than industrial robotics, is on a high growth trajectory due to growing need for assistive robots for an aging and shrinking workforce. By 2019, we expect that to be somewhere in the range of 43 million units available in what we call the service robot industry, compared to about 400,000 in the industrial robot industry. So it will dramatically outpace what is today the industrial robots from the service robots. It will grow everywhere in every aspect of our lives. That's our expectations. To further develop intelligent service robots, research in AI is essential. As AI learns from the massive amounts of data, robots can use it to assess situations and interact with humans. The U.S. is driving the robot software market with huge investment from the government as well as IT giants acquisition of robotics and AI companies. Japan, which unveiled the humanoid robot Pepper last year, is seeing growing demand for service robots that can cater to the country's aging population. With continued R&D efforts by companies such as SoftBank and Toyota, the Japanese government plans to turn service robots into an $11.4 billion industry by 2020, about 20 times larger than what it was in 2012. How big is Korea's robotics market? According to an industry report, it is expected to grow 18.6% each year from $2.3 billion in 2014 to $4.6 billion in 2018. In particular, the country has a notable presence in the industrial robot market. Last year, it ranked second after China in the annual global supply of industrial robots, accounting for 37,000 units out of 254,000 units. Korean robot manufacturers aim to increase their market share in the global service robot market by focusing their R&D efforts on intelligent service robots. Service robots, in this case, now, our country, the Chengsuyong robot, and the Goyong robot, are also located in the world of the world. Especially, the service service robot has been achieved by 75% of the growth. The service service robot, for example, is the food, or the food, or the food, or the food, or the food. Further, the IFR is the food, or the food, or the food, or the food. The government, for its part, has invested $62 million in core robot technologies this year in hopes of catching up with major players like the U.S. and Japan. To close the technology gap, it is important to provide policy support to encourage robot makers, of which more than 93% are SMEs, to focus on long-term investment in R&D and find ways to commercialize new technologies. The 기업가들이 그 엔터프리니어십 창업가 정신을 바탕으로 해서 새로운 기술을 개발하고 어, 세계에서 경쟁력 있는 제품을 만든다면 어, 충분히 어, 시장에서 성산이 있다고 보여요. 보다 중요한 건 어떻게 좀 수요처를 발굴해서 기존의 기술을 활용해서 어, 시장을 열어갈 수 있는 그 활로를 찾는 그게 더 중요하지 않을까 생각하고 있습니다. The focus goes beyond just making robots move like humans into making them think like humans. This calls for a balanced approach of hardware and software development in robotics. So there is obvious connection between artificial intelligence and robotics. You need bodies and you need brains. You can't have uh, one without the other. So uh, for that reason, of course, there is direct influence, but also the process of actually developing robots is now based on better and better tools we have and design tools are also relying on artificial intelligence. So there is this cycle of developing better AI to develop better robots. Many people imagine a future where humans and robots coexist in perfect harmony. In an attempt to make this utopian dream a reality, governments and businesses are investing in developing AI robots that are physically capable and intelligent as humans. More sophisticated robots will be able to save workers from performing dangerous and laborious tasks. 
Maintenance and cleaning of submerged surfaces often come with many challenges. To help mitigate these challenges, Zeta Creason has developed Korea's first underwater cleaning robot. The K7 is designed to work in unpredictable underwater environments where the safety of divers may be compromised. It has a built-in infrared camera to monitor and record underwater images while cleaning and is capable of working at depths of up to 20 meters at 0.2 meters per second. Several functional modules can be added or removed to the robot body to best suit the environment ensuring effective results. When placed under water, the robot cleaner quickly removes sand and debris built up on the bottom without having to empty the water tank or suspend factory operations. It can be used to clean industrial sites that are not easily accessible to humans, such as cooling towers and water tanks at steel mills, power plants, and manufacturing facilities. This helps prevent safety problems while offering improved productivity. High precision robots can also be a useful tool in assembly lines. Industrial robots that work like humans are being introduced to carry out more sophisticated shop floor operations. Among them is Amido, a two-armed robot and a joint project between the Korea Institute of Machinery and Materials, LG Electronics, and Robostar. Unlike bulky robotic systems found in existing production lines, the new industrial robot occupies the same space as a human worker. High performance motors and an operating computer were miniaturized to make the compact robot, which is controlled by a single cable. Amido's advanced visual and tactile sensor technology makes it ideal for mass production operations, especially those that require high precision. Engineers made sure that both arms would move simultaneously without mutual interference. Amido is nearing the mass production stage, ushering in a new era of smart manufacturing. Besides robot arms, robotics research also looks into humanoids or robots that mimic human movement and behavior. Korea is one of the leaders in humanoid robot technology. At last year's DARPA Robotics Challenge in the U.S., Korea's team KAIST and its humanoid Hubo robot claimed first place. Mokpo University's humanoid Charles is also turning heads in the global robotics market. Water in the cup disappears, and a coin goes through a water bottle. A big dice splits into two, and a coin multiplies into two after passing the cup. With excellent hand dexterity, Charles can perform a series of magic tricks to fool humans. The humanoid robots tricks received an enthusiastic response at this year's Humanoid Robotics Application Challenge, which is one of the most renowned international robot events. Charles is the brainchild of Hudo, a robotics research team at the Mokpo National University. The team is also working on driverless cars and personal mobility solutions. The team's flagship project, Charles, stands 110 centimeters tall and weighs 8 kilograms, which makes it the most lightweight of its kind. For this reason, it can operate longer with the same battery. The use of a light motor and aluminum material has contributed to weight reduction, which is necessary to minimize damage in cases where the robot collides with a human. The frame frame, 그런 어, 한계치를 넘어가지 않으면서도 그러면서도 가벼울 수 있게끔 어, 설계를 하는 겁니다. 어떤 특정한 부분들은 아주 어, 가볍게 만들면서 어떤 특정 부분들은 어, 그 부러지지 않을 정도의 에, 그, 어, 제한적인 요소를 가지면서 설계를 하게 됩니다. 
Charles consists of 25 motors, 13 in the upper half and 12 in the lower half of the body, which enable it to walk upright. An embedded camera allows it to detect objects and avoid obstacles. Above all, the robot is capable of carrying out realistic and human-like movements, like picking up a coin or a paper cup with multi-joint arms and specially coated fingers. 종이컵에 물이 있을 때와 물이 없을 때의 지는 악력이 달라지겠죠. 이렇게 악력에 대한 제어, 또 종이컵과 같이 아주 부드러운 재질을 구그러지거나 또는 놓치지 않게 잡을 수 있는 그런 in addition to walking, Charles can also dance for more than two hours. This summer, it took part in a traditional Korean theatrical performance, which carefully blended robotics into storytelling. Another strength of Charles is its networking capability. The small computer embedded in the humanoid robot is unable to incorporate AI or complex algorithms. But its network can be connected to a high-capacity intelligent server to support the robot's AI functions. 어, 이런 인공지능과 또 로봇이 결합이 된다면은 제가 이제 바쁜 시간에 출장을 가게 되고 우리 가족들이 떨어져 있는 경우에 어, 저 대신에 어, 로봇 찰스를 보내서 어, 제가 어, 이렇게 손동작하고 또 웃고 하면은 그것이 찰스에게 그대로 전달돼서 아바타처럼 어, 저를 대신해서. 잠시라도 우리 아이들과 가족과 이렇게 저를 대신해서 잠깐 놀아줄 수 있는 그런 대상으로 발전할 수 있지 않을까 그런 생각도 해봅니다. Researchers are going to great lengths to make robots more human-like, giving them convincing walking patterns and hand movements. The use of AI in robotics, in particular, is expected to speed up this process and open up endless possibilities. A robot is serving drinks, moving around the exhibition floor packed with people. Navigating its way through the crowd, the robot does not bump into people or obstacles. But there is no one around to control it. Gokart, an intelligent autonomous transport robot, can analyze spatial data on its own without human assistance. Eugene Robot, the biggest exporter of robot vacuum cleaners in Korea, is the company behind the development of the autonomous service robot. The core part of autonomous transport technology is the ability to analyze spatial data. Gokart arrives at its destination by avoiding obstacles ahead through a precise analysis on the surrounding environment. Robot's 주변의 그 상황 정보들을 끊임없이 얘가 인식을 해서. 앞에 있는 것이 장애물인지 사람이 왔다 갔다 하는지 이런 것도 정확하게 판단을 할 수가 있어야 되고요. 자동문도 있을 수 있고 엘리베이터도 있을 수 있는데 그런 것과도 연동이 되어서 스스로 로봇과 통신을 해서 엘리베이터 문을 열고 닫으면서 다른 층으로 이동을 하고 또 자동문도 통과해서 원하는 목적지까지 정확하게 할수 있는 그런 기술들이 이 로봇의 굉장히 중요한 기술이라고 볼 수가 있겠습니다. While the go-kart robot can be used in a wide range of areas, it could be particularly useful in healthcare facilities where drugs and meals are provided at set times. 병원에 가면은 엄청난 양의 물류가 하루 종일 쉬지 않고 이렇게 이송이 되고 있습니다. 사람에 의해서든지 아니면 무인차에 의해서든지 이렇게 왔다 갔다 하는데 그것을 로봇을 통해서 자동화를 하게 되면 상용화 가능성도 충분히 있고 또더 나가서는 이것들이 그 공항이라든가 호텔까지도 쉽게 확대해서 적용할 수 있기 때문에 충분히 그 산업화가 가능하다고 봐서 이걸 개발하게 됐습니다. Recently, a fleet of robots have been introduced which can analyze and act on its own without human intervention. This is made possible due to rapid advances in AI technology, which has largely been regarded as the technology of the future. At Aka, a team of international engineers are working on AI solutions. The company has developed Musio, a social robot that can communicate with humans. LED displays indicating eye expressions and emotions are eye-catching. But what's remarkable about this robot is that it can engage in a casual conversation with users. How's the weather in Seoul? Sky is clear with the temperature of one degree. There is modular, like hard-coded functionalities like 
time whether uh, simple question answering. And on top of that, there's the free talking part, which consists of this retrieval model where you pick a pre existing sentence as a response or uh, a generative one where you actually generate a sentence that's never been spoken before. Okay, I will call you Richard. The Muse AI technology allows the talking robot to improve its vocabulary by collecting language and visual data and to identify user preferences and refer to them in a future chat. The robot constantly detects the user's emotions to develop a response, emotionally connecting with the user on a more personal level. You can, you know, like see his face. Uh, when you say things, you know, you can see how he feels about that through his facial expressions so that people can like, emotionally identify with Musio. Uh, actually like care for him and share experiences and laugh together. I mean music can do like simple things like I said you know like weather and things like that but the main focus is to like connect with the people. Professor Chang Pyeongtak, a renowned AI expert says AI technology is indispensable to lead the global robot industry. The robot is and the 시각 능력을 갖고 언어 능력을 갖고 이렇게 되면 사람이 결국은 로봇한테 어떤 원하는 일도 전달해야 되고 그러니까 로봇이 그걸 알아들어야 되죠. 그래서 인공지능이 필수적인 기술이 되어가고 있습니다. All pair, a mombot helping child rearing is one of the many AI projects his team is working on. 오늘은 추우니까 따뜻하게 입자. The robot can carry on a basic conversation, avoid obstacles at home using its camera sensors, and follow people around at a distance of one meter. Through deep learning technology, the robot learns to adopt a style suitable for each household by recording a conversation between a mom and a child. AI technology has reached a point where it can not only interact with humans, but also learn things on its own. With the introduction of highly sophisticated robots with human-like limbs, there is increased expectation on robots that can move and think like humans, just like those in SF films. Some experts believe building such a robot is not possible with current technology. They argue both hardware and software technology still have a long way to go. On the other hand, some argue that a highly advanced AI robot will be introduced in the near future as a result of research on the integration of hardware and software. Robotics is challenging because it's multidisciplinary and uh, the effort we need to have is to bring teams, uh, multidisciplinary teams, uh, to uh, take uh, those challenges uh, from all sides. And this is happening today. We can see a lot of uh, partnership taking place between uh, academia and industry uh, together with uh, teams across uh, different institutions from different countries uh, to uh, build the next generation of robotic systems. At this rate of development, convergence of hardware and software may turn a truly AI robot into a reality. We only started doing very successful work in robotics a couple of years ago, but there is definitely a very much exponential progress in our ability. So. Give us a little time and you'll see all the science fiction robots come to life. Thanks to research efforts in different corners of the world, robot technology is evolving by leaps and bounds, bringing people's dream robot closer to a reality. 
What sets humans apart from other species is the ability to think creatively. Robots are quickly evolving, poised to expand their roles into domains previously reserved for humans. But robots with human-level intelligence will require a large number of enabling technologies. It would be interesting to watch how robotics will eventually lead to the emergence of robots that are as capable as humans, both intellectually and physically.